Well, I took a break from doing videos, but here I am, um, back again. Uh, I'm going to talk about the subject of marriage equality. Um, you know, as we know, the president has flip-flopped on this a number of times, and he's uh, finally de-evolved <clears throat> to the point <clears throat> where he uh, is in favor of gay marriage, and uh, Hillary Clinton... Um, uh, came out today and said that that you know she's in favor of, of homosexual marriage as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, what what is marriage equality? What does that mean? You know, it, it's it's interesting because you know there's a standard for marriage. Well, used to be. Um, some states still have a standard. Um, marriage has traditionally been between one man and one woman, okay? Anyone other than, you know, outside of first cousins who met that standard could be married, okay? So everybody who wants to be married, who meets that standard, can be married. That is equal. That is equality, okay? But no, 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 no. They want to say that, you know, the homosexual community wants to come out and say, that's not fair because we can't marry who we love, you know, you know, uh, you know, two two gals want to say that, you know, uh, they they want to have the same legal marriage, you know, diddling each other's ladybugs as a man and a woman. Uh, two homosexual guys, you know, frankly, you think about it, a man who wants to put his manhood where another man evacuates his bowels, they call that love, and they want the same thing as a man and a woman. Okay, well now let's think about this because he here's where you gotta think. You gotta put all this just nonsense aside. You gotta quit taking these arguments that the homosexual community has been, you know, uh, perpetrating upon everybody. They say, well, it, 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 let's take their let's take their position. Well, geez, you know, well first of all, marriage is not a right. It is not something that is found in the Constitution. Okay, now. You know, we can make an argument. Should government be involved in marriage at all? You know, and I'll have that discussion because, you know, frankly, you know, if marriage is a right, why do you have to go to a government and buy a license to exercise that right? That's that's a question I've always wanted to know. Two, if the government doesn't belong in marriage, then they shouldn't be involved in the divorce. So when you go to, if you get divorced, you don't go to a judge anymore. Okay. Um, you know, I, you know, so you go to what a pastor, um, judges can no longer perform marriage ceremonies. Either government can be involved or they can't be involved. Okay. So we can have that discussion, but that's not what I want to talk about right now. Um, cause you think about it, all the arguments that the gay people use, well, you don't, you know, we don't get to marry who we love. Okay. Go ask someone who practices polygamy. Okay. Do they get to marry, you know, does the man get to marry all the women he loves? No. The law says no. That's the standard. Polygamy is illegal. You know, um, how about gay polygamy? Can we have gay polygamy? Because I'm sure that, you know, you know that type of deviancy would, would be found somewhere. You can't allow that. That's not equality. Um, how about siblings? You know, we've all seen, you know, we know it exists out there. Don't sit there and say, oh, that's ridiculous. No, because you can't tell someone, you know, these homosexuals running around saying, you can't tell me who I can and can't love. You can't tell someone else, no matter how sick you think it is. You can't tell a brother that he can't marry his sister. You can't tell a brother he can't marry his brother because that's setting a standard. And a standard equals discrimination. That's what the gays have pounded in your head, and that's what people are buying into. It's nonsense. As a society, we have a right to set standards. Standards are not discrimination. <clears throat> you know, it used to be discrimination um, was having taste, you know, was being choosy. That's what discrimination... I remember commercials back in the, geez, the 70s, you know, Taster's Choice Coffee, they used to be, you know, they used to say... You know, for those with discriminating taste, you know, choose, you know, you know, chose, you know, taster's choice. You know, 
discrimination, we all engage in it every single day. It's, it's, discrimination is just a choice. It's choosing one over another. Okay? But now think about this. Gay people want to say, well, marriage is between a man and a woman, but we want you to lower the bar so that it can be woman, woman, man, man. Okay? Why don't they always, why don't they ever talk about everything else? Why don't they talk about polygamy, gay polygamy, incest, same sibling incest marriage? How about age standards for marriage? That's age discrimination. We can't discriminate. 50-year-olds should be able to marry 15-year-olds. That's what the gays are put. That's what they're promoting. They're lowering the bar. They are, I'm here to tell you, folks, you just get used to this. You know, They lower it, and you just get used to that being the new normal. And then what happens? People come in under that, and they lower it again. Fact is, homosexuals want to lower the bar, lower the standard of marriage to include them and exclude everybody else. They are just as discriminating as they say, you know, a traditional uh, family values guys like myself are. You know, and that's that's a fact. How come homosexual rights groups, how come they don't go out and start saying, hey, you know, they ought to have polygamy. Polygamy should be legal. Incest, incest should be legal. We shouldn't have, you know, discriminatory age laws, you know, for marriage. Well, that's discrimination. You're telling someone, because let's face it, you know, what, most laws, are, you know, are 18. You can get married younger with parental consent. But let's just say 18. Well, geez, it's discrimination because I can guarantee you there are 17-year-olds that are far more mature and ready to tackle life than some 18-year-olds. But we're just going to arbitrarily draw a line. I mean, I can make the case for it. Okay? You know, my kids think I'm a nut job because I won't let them date till they're 16. They sit there, why, why, why? You know, why 16? Why not 15? Why not 17? Why, why? Okay, that's my choice. That's where I, you know, that's a starting point. But the thing is, let's face it, age laws for marriage are arbitrary, right? And, and that's discriminatory against people outside that age. You know, you can't say, uh, well, geez, if, if a brother and sister got married, they're going to have, you know, mentally retarded children because their genes are too close. Hey, uh-uh, two gay guys can't have kids, so marriage isn't about uh, marriage isn't about children anymore, okay? They're erasing that. Folks, you've got to understand what they're what they're saying, what they're doing. Look, is is as deviant as I find it and filthy and and morally corruptive that I find, you know, two people of the same gender engaging in sex acts is despicable as despicable as I find it. You know, if that's what they want to do in the privacy of their bedroom, that's that's their business. But that's just, I'm here to tell you, that's as far as I'm willing to go. Even if my kids were to come out and say, you know, Dad, I've I've decided I want to be I want to be a homosexual. You know what? I'm not going to flake out. I'm not going to be like that senator from Wisconsin, old Ron Johnson. I'm not going to you know, I'm not going to break my morals. I'm not going to sit there and say, ooh, I'm going to do this just so I can. Show my kid how much I love him. No, my morals are not negotiable. You know, I'm not going to change that, period. End of discussion. What I will be, I will always love my child. Always. However, I will still continue to be the, 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 the rigid guidance that they need. I'm not going to change just so my kid feels better. My child will always be welcome in my home, not their partner and not their behavior. They will always be able to come home. And that's, I think, where we have to be. You know, I think it is sad sometimes when you see parents who, when their children, you know, make such a drastic choice as to be, you know, a homosexual. And I firmly believe homosexual is a choice. Um, I know there'll be a lot of people that are going to sit there and disagree with that. And they say, well, well, why would someone choose to be gay and be scorned? Well, why would someone choose to shave half their you know, hair off and then dye the other set pink and have nose rings hang out of their nose, knowing they're going to be scorned? Because they cry out for attention. They go anywhere they can find acceptance. You know, they've been abused at some point. It's funny because I did see something about most um, lesbians have admitted to being sexually abused at, at some point in, early in their life. Coincidence, maybe, but the fact is, I, I still say it's going to be a choice. Um, 
we're human beings. We have a higher level of thought, and we have the ability to control our actions. We are not animals. And I've heard people say, well, homosexuality is in the animal kingdom. Well, you know what? And monkeys throw their poo. You know, and lions will kill the offspring of other lions. So, yeah, if you want to go and, 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 and debase yourself to that of an animal, so be it. I'll have that discussion with you. You know, if you want to sit here and talk about nature, you know, Darwin is, the, you know, the kind of the, you know, the, the I guess, the, you know, the, uh, the standard of, of nature and evolution. And even Charles Darwin, uh, Mr. Anti-God himself, even Charles Darwin said that homosexuality is an evolutionary dead end. Think about it. So, you know, if, if you know, who's who's to say that if you want to claim that it's normal, who's to say that, you know, nature said, whoa, there's something not quite right with this genetic line. You know, let's flip on this, this gene so that that DNA strain, you know, ends with that person. You know, I'm just saying, who's to argue that? I happen to think that, we have a choice. We are human beings. You know, um, I just, I, I just refuse to, you know, to, to believe that there is no scientific evidence, you know, stating that the homosexuals are, are, are born this way. Um, I think we can, you know, very much be you know, products of our environment. Um, but folks, I really, I don't want to go and keep beating a dead horse, but I really want you to think about what happens when you take that standard of a man and a woman and you lower it to allow, you know, homosexuals in because you lower that bar to the exclusion of everybody else. And then they will have the opportunity to make the exact same claims that homosexuals are making. Mark my words. We all know there's all kinds of, of, of sickness out there, you know. And the fact is, is, is morally objectionable that I find homosexuality, okay, Another person may not, and you may say, hey, that should be fine between a man and a woman. You know, it's fine. And, and, you know, between two loving men and two loving women, that should be fine. But then if someone says, well, why shouldn't two brothers be able to be married? Oh, well, that's gross. That's just disgusting. Well, you find that just as disgusting as I find two non-related men wanting to get married disgusting. You know, you then lack the... I guess the uh, the the moral uh, you know, I don't want to say the moral certainty, but you know you you lack the moral authority to say well gay should be allowed be allowed to be married, but not two two gay brothers because you've just now said people should be able to marry who they love. You've just set the bar. That is now the you know the hurdle that has to be well, anyone who loves anybody. Then well polygamists love each other. No one's forcing. You know, people to, you know, adult, and we can have the discussion about kids. You know, should a 15 year old be able to marry a 50 year old? Why not? Doesn't hurt my marriage. Doesn't affect you. Stay out of their bedroom. What business is it of yours? Every homosexual argument can be applied to every other relationship. That's a fact. If you don't want all these other things, you know, 50 year olds and 15 year olds and polygamy and gay polygamy and incest. You know, and same-sex siblings getting married. If you don't want that, you've got to take a stand and say, you know what? You know, no. Man and woman has worked fine. You know, if if two people want to live together, that's their deal. If they want them to visit each other in the hospital, that's fine. If he wants to live his uh, leave his life insurance to him, that's fine. You know, and we leave it. I think we leave it at that. You know, I don't advocate going out because someone has chosen to to live a gay lifestyle. You know, you don't go out and violate your civil rights. You don't beat them up. You don't take their property. You, you know, that's wrong. That's an assault on a person. And frankly, speaking of that, whether a guy says, you know, he's gay and gets beat up because he's gay, you know, they should not get any, you know, the person who perpetrated that assault shouldn't get any more punishment than if they'd beat someone up who was straight because that's, that, you know, true equality is equal punishment now. You know, it's funny because gays are like, we want to be treated like heterosexual couples. Ooh, well, he, he called me fag before he beat me up. Therefore, I want extra punishment on him because I want him to be treated, I want, I want to be treated special. 
you see, you play both ends from the middle. Folks, I welcome constructive criticism. If you're going to be one of these just, you know, just these idiot retards that get on here and say stuff like, oh, you're fat, shut up, you, you fatty. You know, I want something constructive. Take my argument. Tell me where I'm wrong. Let's have a, a reasoned discussion. I don't say this based out of hate. I don't hate gay people. You know, and you folks don't know anything about my history or folks in my family or anything else. So you might want to not look like an idiot. So let's keep it constructive. Let's keep it positive. Let's have a good discussion here. I welcome your thoughts. Tell me where I'm, where you think I'm wrong. I don't think I am. I think I've thought this out pretty good. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. And, uh, you know, I look forward to your uh, upcoming uh, comments, or at least the constructive ones. All right. Thanks again for watching.